Hi guys, welcome to Daily Tips with Monica. I do appreciate you guys' love and I do appreciate you guys' support. Uh, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you want to share me out, share me out. Share me out to all different platforms if you like. Like I always tell you guys, I do appreciate you so much. And what we're going to talk about today is God. What we're going to talk about today is positive thoughts for your everyday motivation. Those positive thoughts for your everyday motivation. Um, the power of positive thinking cannot be denied. Even though sometimes it can seem like a cliche when you hear people talking about it, but cliche or not, the mental and physical benefits of thinking positive are proving to give you more confidence, improve your self-esteem, give you motivation, motivation, sorry, and generally put you in a good mood. Thinking of at least one positive thought every day can have a significant benefit to you. So because like, if you think positive, you can reduce the life, the, the, the likelihood of health conditions that you may have like depression, uh, high blood pressure, and a variety of other stress related illnesses. But, Really, your positive thinking isn't about finding your inner smile. Many people really don't have a lot of joyous inner thoughts. But that don't mean that they're not content with their lives. Positive thinking or thinking positive every day is more about finding that positive imagery in your life and viewing things through an optimistic eye. Especially when you get into a situation that is very negative. And the biggest problem with, you know, thinking positive is it wears off real easy when things happen like rejection, something negative happens, or you have a setback, or you have a heartbreak can soon put you into a downward spiral and get you into a negative funk. And please know that, you know, once you get into that negative mindset, and I promise you that this, this is so me, once I get into that negative mindset, I am not really motivated to do anything. And I'm not able to perform at the level I need to perform. So what we need to do, guys, is we always need to keep ourselves positive and have positive thoughts. So here are some tips that we can use to start thinking positive every day. So the first thing is be thankful you woke up this morning. Like, I, I, like I've been saying for the last two or three days, guys, is if you can't be thankful for anything, be thankful that you're 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 still able to be to to wake up this morning. So know that some people did not, and don't think of it as a something depressing. It just remember that you won the greatest gift of all, and that is life. You're alive. It's so easy to dwell on negative aspects of our lives, but we always seem to miss the most important, obvious thing is life itself. I got to tell myself that, guys. Take a deep breath, guys, and look outside your window and marvel at the world around you. So be thankful you woke up this morning. Even when things are bad, even when things ain't working the way you want it to work out, and even though you may go, go might be going through a heartbreak, or you might be feeling depressed, or you may be feeling like no one loves you, but be thankful. Be thankful for waking up this morning 
and being still here because like like i said many people are not so be thankful you woke up this morning the second thing is guys you don't have to listen to your haters know know that there is some really mean-spirited people who will love to ruin your day but what i can tell you is if you allow it if you don't allow it they can't ignore those haters dismiss their bow for what it is vicious comments of unfulfilled people Remind yourself that you are above them and nothing they say will bring you down. So you don't have to listen to your haters, guys. You don't have to listen to people that constantly, constantly put you down, constantly uh, make you feel like you're less than or have some type of snide remark against you. You don't have to have, you don't have to listen to that. You can be above it and say nothing. See, and, and, and it's hard because let me tell you, it's hard to not say nothing. Because like I told you last week, when I, you know, I had a video that kind of like went viral. And I can truly say a lot of those comments was real negative. And then one specific comment that stood out was, oh, you need to do better. So then I went and did another video that same individual in um uh, went into my comments and said this is anything but better and i just told her well thank you for your comment and i said but i'll get back to you so i went to her page their page i'm sorry and i left a genuine comment and then they came back and left me a genuine comment. And then they're going to ask, well, let's get our watch time hours together. Let's do a video together to get our watch time hours up. And you had me feeling like I'm just doing a horrible job. No, I am. No, yes, I have a Southern draw. Yes, some words I may not pronounce correctly, but I'm striving. And I'm, I'm not worried about what the next person, well, the, the hater going to say because they didn't step out and do this what i did they couldn't they they were too afraid to do it so what they're gonna do is they're gonna tear down what i did don't let people make you feel like what you do is mediocre you don't have to listen to no haters know that you are above them let your haters motivate your success The third thing is don't compare your life yourself to others. And I you know it is easier said than done, but don't compare your, yourself to nobody else. But at the end of the day, we do all have those envious thoughts when we see somebody uh we proceed to be more than successful than we are. But think about it. Are you really are they really better than you? And even if they are, does it even matter? By spending time being jealous, you are wasting time on negative thoughts that could be spent pursuing something that makes you happy. So don't compare your life to someone else. Don't compare your life to someone else's. Don't compare yourself to nobody else. Know that you are you and you are who are, or what God created you. You and God created you. So be yourself. You know, I understand that, you know what I'm saying, you'd be a little envious of someone may be a little be more beautiful than you. Someone may be more successful than you. Some people have more things than you. But does it really matter what they have? Because let me tell you something. We all have the same kind of grave. We all going to live and we all going to die. So don't compare ourselves, yourself to other people. Let me tell you something, because some people, they can portray a facade like they're so happy and they have it all. But deep down on the inside, they're miserable. And so you're envious of a miserable person on the inside. Catch that tea. Um, This is something that I, may, I, I need to work on. And the fourth thing is you must take a chance. 
it is easy to like shy away from something that could be high risk or and high and high reward out of fear, fear of being labeled a loser. Have you ever noticed that doing so actually makes you feel worse than if you just taking the risk in the first place? Risk in the first place? Know that rejection does feel bad and failure can weigh heavily, but regret is a far stronger emotion over time. Don't hesitate if you're given a chance. Go for it. Tell yourself that if you fail, it's not a big deal because guess what? You have tried. Um, if you're going through something and, you know, if uh, you wanted to overcome obesity, poverty, racism, learning disabilities, abuse, violent father, he, oh, I'm sorry. So that ain't got nothing to do with that. But they ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't got read, I don't got through it thrown off, sorry. But if you want to overcome things like that, you can overcome them. And you can take one day at a time overcoming it. But so don't be afraid to take a chance. Don't take a don't don't be afraid to take a chance in life. Um, and doing those things in which you want to do. I, myself, guys, me, I can't, like, me, I want it, but sometimes that negative Nancy I have in my head, she makes me feel as though it's not going to work, or they are, I don't deserve it, or I'm not good enough, or things like that. I have that negative Nancy that I constantly battle with every day but i know that you know i am deserving of good things and i know that you know there's nothing wrong with taking a chance but sometimes it's just you just the fear of the unknown will make you kind of like scared but it's okay to be scared but just push through those scary feelings and you never know those things could change your life so don't ever just give up and wish the things you want to do. Just work towards, basically, work towards being happy and work towards giving things a chance. Because even if you fail at it or successful at it, at least you know you have tried. And that's coming from friendships, being in a relationship, um, giving a marriage or something another chance, giving a job a chance, giving a business a chance, things like that. The fifth thing is accept that things ends. Even the best things in life, guys, eventually ends. So don't worry about them. Don't be afraid about how the good times are about to stop. Just enjoy them while they last. And when they do finally end, be happy in the, in the knowledge that something else just as good will come along. So accept that good things sometimes end. And there is something, if, if it do end, something else is better in the plan that's even greater. And you just have to know, not be afraid or feel like there's nothing else good is going to happen. So what you have to do is you have to push those through those thoughts, negative thoughts, and push through those negative feelings and accept that, you know, this may have came to an end, but guess what? It's something else that's better that's out there. The sixth thing is don't judge others. And don't judge others, excuse me. So if you don't like it, if other people judge you, you don't like that. So don't judge other people. And I know it is hard to difficult 
it is hard to refrain from labeling people. But doing so is a surefire way to start descending into a negative spiral. We are we all live in a place. We are all living in a world where passing judgment is tolerated. But no one not only is accepting people a great way to make others feel better, it's also a fantastic way to foster positive thoughts within yourself. So don't judge other people. And it's easier said than done because, you know, we all have been guilty of judging people before we even get to know them. So don't judge a cover. Like they said, don't judge a book by its cover. Get to know a person deep down on the inside. Just because you see the, the outer appearance is what you're judging. But sometimes you need to, to uh, judge the inside because their inside, that what matters. So don't judge other people. Judge ye and ye shall not be judged. Okay? And the seventh thing is, guys, don't do things for others that make you unhappy. Know that we all want to make people happy. But what if the thing that people want us to do for them make us unhappy? If you are doing something for the satisfaction of another person, stop it right now. Your happiness and your time should never be sacrificed for the satisf satisfaction of another person. You won't be able to think positive every day if you're unhappy in the first place. So don't do things for other people that it makes you unhappy. So don't do stuff for people or don't be around, don't do stuff for folks that you know you're not happy with or don't be with someone that makes you unhappy. Life is, you should want to live your life <coughs> in happiness. So if you're doing something for someone, like sticking it out and you're unhappy, then it's time to let it go. And that means walking away. Walking away. Don't sacrifice your happiness for other people. Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to go ahead and recap. So what we talked about today, guys, is thoughts for your everyday motivation. Positive thoughts for your everyday motivation. The first thing uh, we talked about was be thankful you woke up this morning. So every day be thankful that you're able to open your eyes. The second thing is you don't have to listen to haters. So be above the haters. Let those haters be your motivation. You don't just because they said, don't make it true. They could just be hating because you're doing it and they're not. So don't let the haters make you feel like what you're doing is not good enough. The third thing is don't compare yourself to others. Don't ever compare your life to someone else's. Because like I told you guys, it could be a facade. It could be a facade. Know that your life is just as good as their life. Just because they may have a little more than you does not make them better than you. All of us put our panties and underwear on the same way. The fourth thing is you must take a chance. Always take a chance. Take a chance on being happy. Take a chance on stepping out on face and doing those things in which you want to do. It always starts with you, so take a chance. Please take a chance on yourself. You are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of a good job or a good promotion. Whatever it is that you want to do, you are worthy of. So take a chance. Um, the fifth thing is accept that things in. Know that sometimes things do come to an end, but it's okay because guess what? It's something that is better that is out there. 
you just have to have that positive mindset to know that you know what this may come to an end and all good things do come to an end but know that you know there's something else that will come along that i will be able to do um the sixth thing is don't judge others judge like i said judge ye and ye shall not be judged so don't judge other people stop judging a book by its cover look on the inside open the book and read it and get to know it and get to enjoy it because let me tell you something we could be missing out on something good because we always judging people from their outer appearance instead of what's on the inside so don't judge others and don't judge people how they live their life people live their life the way they want to live it and it's their choice we have we make the choice on how we're going to live our life so don't judge nobody if you don't want to be judged so the seventh thing is don't do things for others that make you unhappy if you're doing something for someone and it doesn't make you happy then it's time to stop and walk away do things in your life that makes you happy even if it means sometimes just walking away from something that you know if, if you had like some if like a job you're staying at a job because like your friend don't want you to leave and y'all was going to retire together but you're not happy there no more be about your happiness no matter what and never if it, it never be content if you're not happy so guys those are the daily tips that i do have um i hope you guys enjoy them and i do appreciate you guys for watching um guys please make sure you check out my feature channel for the month that is baking with charlene and as well guys please make sure that i am going to be reading this book it's called sweet Gone. Please make sure you guys click the link in the description box below, and I will be doing a book review on this at the end of this month. Um, as well, guys, shout out to the TBT squad. That's the McCray Kings um, and Blossom and Fishing and myself. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell to know each time when I come out with another video. Um, and always remember, guys, you know, no, no matter what, don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. If they didn't give it to you, they can't take it away. So, y'all have a happy Wednesday.